Ace Ventura, when Nature Calls, was a little bit of a disappointment, if I'm to be honest. I don't think this is a bad movie per se, but there are several moments within this one that makes it quite an underwhelming cinematic experience. Like the previous installment, the last time I saw this movie was many years ago, so this was a nice refresher because I hadn't forgotten about the story. And speaking of which, H. Ventura, he is now summoned to Africa in order to locate a missing white bat from a local tribe. Now I'll be honest here, there are a few problems I had with this movie, such as forced comedy. I really don't like when movies do that because, well, it makes it feel unnecessary. And then there are some moments peppered throughout this film's runtime where it didn't really make any sense. The story is not great, the acting is alright, and the only thing that has saved this film from being a dumb sapphire was Jim Carrey because without his over-the-top performance here, then this movie would have been largely forgivable in my opinion. Opinion. Overall, this one has some weak moments, there's no doubt about that, but at least it didn't turn into a bore fest and it is entertaining to some degree as well. Seriously, what happened to this sequel? I don't hate it, but at the same time, I feel like it's really inferior to the first installment. The first installment had me rolling on the floor because it was that funny. Here, I didn't laugh as much. Maybe it's because the director, Steve Odenkirk, Feels like a step down compared to Tom Shadyette. Nothing against director Steve Odenkirk. But I really felt like if this film had kept the previous director, then this movie probably would have flowed better. At least Jim Carrey still does a great job playing Ace Ventura. This time Ace, he's now in Africa. He has to find the great white bat. And then it does lead to some funny moments. But I realized this movie is also a little bit boring as well. The plot seemed to be all over the place. And to some degree, I was really saying to myself, this movie is missing something really special to help it stand out. I mean, the first movie wasn't a masterpiece by no stretch of the imagination. But to me, it felt more entertaining. And then you have other characters such as the antagonist, Vincent. He didn't feel menacing enough, honestly. And then there's Fulton, which I guess is like the sidekick of Ace, you know, helping him out through his adventures in Africa. But I really felt like both characters weren't used to their fullest potential. I also feel like that the acting talent of Bob Gunton was completely wasted. He's in the film, but when he does show up, he doesn't give a stellar performance. With the actor of his caliber, I expected a little bit more from this one. Nonetheless, when it comes down to it, this isn't a bad movie, but it's close to being a dumpster fire simply because I honestly want something more out of this. And I was truly expecting a movie that would actually be real hilarious, but what I got was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. I'm giving this film a 6 out of 10. Yeah, this one is okay, but it lacks the twists and turns of the original. It's still an interesting watch, but I have no desire to come back to this one anytime soon because honestly, Jim Carrey has better comedic movies out there. By the way though, it makes sense that none of the other characters return in this sequel because it would have been a little odd to see any of them in Africa. Now, I still enjoy some of the things that are in this one, but at the same time, I kind of wish this movie was just as good as Pet Detective. And that's my review of Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. Alright, leave your comments down below in the section. And let me know what you think about this movie. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.